and welcome to Tricky TV. I'm Stephen Mulhern and I love magic. On today's show, you're going to see tricks that make people gobsmacked or laugh their heads off, or preferably both. Oh! The other thing about Tricky TV is that you are going to find out how to make people do that too. <laughs> on Tricky TV today, top model Caprice is amazed by a magic car trick. <laughs> we serve up some surprises from the Tricky Ice Cream Van in a very tasty Wicked Wind-Up. Cheers, mate. Have a fabulous day. You've eaten that one quick, haven't you? And we reveal the secret of one of Magic's most impressive illusions. Levitation. Yes, another brilliant Tricky TV for you today. And have a look at this. Look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six straws. Definitely just six straws. Now, if I threw one, two, three of these straws away, you would think I still only have three. But look, there's still six. One, two, three, four, five, six straws. This trick drives people mental! <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six straws, OK? Definitely six, yeah? Do you want to have a quick check? Check one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah? yeah? Cool, now, if I threw one of these away, how many do we have left? Five. Five, exactly. But look, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six. Away. Put them on away, Ham. Put them on, we'll throw it away. Put them away. Sorry, Keith. You throw it away. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. How? Yeah. I don't know. So if I take one of them and throw it away, how many have we got left? Five. 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 Quick. But watch. Count them now. You just throw two away. I know. Find out how to do this top trick later on in the show. Here I am at Craven Cottage, Fulham FC's football ground, and I brought along the seven of their biggest fans. Are you right, ladies? Yeah. Good stuff. Now have a good look around the stadium. You can see it's absolutely deserted. That's because it's a weekday, and of course nobody's here. Well, hopefully with a bit of magic, that will all change. Now, girls, do us a massive favour and just check out the pitch. Make sure we haven't dug any big holes or there's any trap doors in the pitch or anything like that. Of course, that's impossible because this is Fulham FC's turf. And just like their fans, it is the real deal. Now, if you front five would do us a favour and just go and sit on that bench over there. That's the player's bench. That's good stuff. Lovely, lovely. And you two, brilliant. That's it. You hold on to those sides for me. It's very important that you two make sure that nothing gets in this way. And if you come with me, I just want to again show you around the back to show you nothing can come in from behind or anything like that. OK? Are you happy? Good. Are you happy, ladies? Right. Well, let the magic begin. What I'm going to do is pick up the front of the box like this. There we go. And make sure that's definitely secure. Yeah? Definitely secure? Yeah. OK, now if you go back with your friends, that's cool. What I'm going to do is count down from three, and then you're going to see something happen that I think you're going to like. Here we go. Three, two, one, now! Now that's not the trick. This is the trick. Watch. Put it down. Yes, it's the mighty Fulham FC ladies football team. Let's have an action replay. I think it's all over. It is now. <laughs> Nothing like a nice ice cream on a hot summer's day, I always say, but this is no ordinary ice cream van, oh no. It's full of surprises and unexpected happenings. Mm. But the people who come to my ice cream van will have no idea what I have in store for them. Firstly, you're going to get to see everything because we have our wicked wind-up hidden cameras everywhere in this van. Look, there's one here. Hello. There's also one here, and this one here as well. And of course, there's this one, you. We've got ice creams with no bottoms, ice creams where you only get the top. Nice. And we've got ice creams that look like ice creams, but are in fact mashed potato. And to finish the whole wicked wind-up off, I must get into disguise. And 
And after our tricky TV master of disguise had weaved his magic, I emerged as Mehmet, king of the ice cream cone. Are you sorted, Mehmet? Sorted, Stephen. <laughs> Let's get a bit of chew. Let's have some tunes. Two consumer cones for 70 pence. No problem. Here we go. Sure one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I do apologize. Hang on. on. Here you go. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm, so, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, mate. You go, my man. You can have a nice lemon one. You trust me. That's the one you want. Lemon. No, you don't. No. Do you, Do you not want that one? No, I don't want that. No, what one do you want then? It's 140. Is it? Yeah. Well, I've a pound. Oh, well, there's no need for that. As I perfected my technique, I realised that people quite enjoyed a dollop of wind up with their ice cream. Strawberry, please, yeah. as well. Oh. Lovely. There you go. You look like that guy off the telly. Philip's going. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Have a fabulous day. You've eaten that one quick, haven't you? There we go. Is that enough yet? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got spade, OK. Whoa. Another one. <laughs> this was my favourite moment of the day. <laughs> oh, no. You've got it. Now, let me do you a fresh one. I replaced the real ice cream for one made of mashed potato. There you go. Oh, yeah, nice one. Now, I thought she'd come back to complain, but I watched her ride off eating it. Unbelievable. Have you ever dreamt that you could fly? Well, with the art of magic, you really can. Now, maybe you've seen somebody float or levitate off the ground, and if you have seen it, then you'll know how incredible it is. Now, if you haven't seen it, prepare yourself, because you're about to see it now. How amazing is that? It's good, isn't it? And do you know what the brilliant thing about Tricky TV is? I'm going to tell you exactly how we did it in just a minute. <laughs> also, still to come on Tricky TV, we set out to astound top model Caprice. That is insane! <laughs> you can join the secret circle with the six straw trick, where no matter how many you take away, you still have six left. And don't get wound up, get clued up on this cup and ball trick and beat the cheat. Welcome back to Tricky TV. Now, just before the break, you saw me clear my mind of thoughts that could weigh me down in order to try and levitate and float off the ground. Now, I've got to say, this takes a great deal of focus and concentration to achieve this feat, but I'm going to try it again. Keep your eye on my feet. Here we go. I told you, I'll tell you how we did it. It's not the most technical illusion in the world, but still an illusion all the same. And it's all made possible with the help of two of the guys from the Tricky TV team. Tricky. 
Cheats know 101 ways of getting money out of people. And there never seems to be a shortage of people who just don't seem to realise you cannot win against someone who is cheating. Unless, of course, you can work out some of the tricks they use. Then you will be able to beat the cheat. OK, here we go. All you've got to do is keep your eye on this big red ball. The red ball always goes underneath one cup. It doesn't go underneath number two or number three. It's always underneath number one. OK, now let's just find out. There's the ball, number one. Where is the ball? Number one. No, it's not number one. It's number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see you again. Watch. Keep your eye on number two. Look, there's the ball. Under number two. It's not under three or under one. It's definitely underneath number two. What number is it under? Which one? Point to which one? You think that one? No, it's back underneath number two. Yes, never mind. Let me show you again. Look, there's number two. It's not underneath number three or number one. Definitely underneath number two. Where's the ball? Under number two. Number two? No, it's underneath number three. Yes. Right, let me show you one more time. Remember where the ball is. The ball is inside number two, not number three or number one. Where is the ball? That one. Number two, no, it's number one! <laughs> what they don't realise is that this guy's a cheat! The whole thing's a cheat! And they can never find that ball! No matter how closely you look at the cups, you will never, ever find the ball. And here is why. You see, the con man shows you three cups, but he's also got three balls. But why can't you ever see the other two balls? Well, it's the con man's old favourite, yep, yeah, the dodgy cup. Look what he's done. He's made a couple of slits in the back of each cup, which makes a flap. And with a bit of pressure to that flap, that will trap the ball in the cup like that. So let's go from the beginning and show you exactly how it works. All the balls are under all the cups. If you say the ball is under cup one, he'll say, no, it's not. It's under cup two. If you say it's under cup two, he'll say, no, it's not. It's under cup one. Or he could go from number one to number three, or three to number one. You can never, ever win. Now, it doesn't mean that you're stupid, it just means that he's a cheat. Now, this is a really simple cheat that is still done today. But next time you see it, you won't be taken in, because you can beat the cheat. Meet some of the world's top young magicians. They are determined. They are skillful. And they share the same aim. To be the best they can be. Today it's the turn of Josh and he's going to show you a very cool trick with some roses and a glass. He takes a petal and places it into the glass. Now watch this. The petal turns into an egg. Now you may be thinking the egg's not real. Well, it is. Nice one, Josh. Earlier on Tricky TV, I said I would show you how to make people look like this. <laughs> how did you do it? Because I was doing this. How many straws have we got? Six. Will you count it for me? Six straws, definitely six straws, fellas, yeah? Yes. So if I take one of them and throw it away, how many have we got left? Five. 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 Quick. But watch, count them now. Six. How weird is that? OK, have a look at this straw. Looks like an ordinary straw, doesn't it? But this isn't one straw, oh no. Here, I have two straws, and this is the secret to this brilliant trick. But what you do is you make a slit all the way along the length of one of the straws and this makes an outer case for the real straw that's in the middle. Now when you do the trick it's important that you use all the same colour straws. The only reason I'm using different colours is to show you exactly how it works. Now when you set up all six straws your friends will think you've got one, two, three, four, five, six but in fact you now have twelve. So when they think you throw a straw away you haven't thrown a straw away. You've only thrown away the outer case. Look across here as well. Uh, look, the one with the sluice in. Simple. Now here's a couple of tricky tips for you. First of all, it's important to use stripy straws because that will hide the slits. The other thing is if you have the outer cases higher than the real straw, that way you can never throw a real straw away because you've got your fingers around them like that. So you'll always throw away the outer casing, making sure the real straws stay inside your hand. 
So there you have it. You now know the secret and you're in the secret circle. So why don't you try it out on your friends? It's the extraordinary six draw trick. That's quite hard to say, Keith. It certainly is. Yes. I've got an appointment here with a very beautiful lady. Now, for one, I hope she's expecting me. For two, I hope she's in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> come Hello. in. Hello. How are you doing? You're right. I'm all right. Can I come in then? Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Caprice, how are you doing? I'm all right. I've got a great trick for you. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Now, listen. Is it true about um? You got paid a certain amount of money for one particular job. Apparently, a really high amount of money. Yeah. How much was it? A lot. Can you tell me? It um, it, <laughs> it was a half a million. Half a million pounds. Uh huh. That's incredible. Yeah. Can I take your photo? Um, okay. Okay. All I need to do is just hold your hand out for me. You'll see why in a second. Okay. That's it. Hang on a sec. That's it. Perfect. Lovely stuff. And now this is like a, one of those instant ones. So if I just stick this, if you don't mind, just to here. And we'll just leave that for a few minutes. Perfect. All right. Now, no one's going to touch that, okay? I promise. And if they do, obviously, you'll feel it. Okay. And everybody at home will see it. Right. Now, here we've got a pack of cards. Take a close look at them. Look, you can see they're all completely different, all right? Uh, you can see they're different as well. Capri, yes, right? sir. Okay. Now, anytime you like, just say stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Take the card out. Don't show me, but do show everybody at home. Okay. Okay. You've done that? Yes, and now I just have. pop the card back any way you like. Don't want to look at anything like that. Okay, now one card Caprice is going to pop out of the pack. Not only is it going to pop out of the pack, it's going to like spin around about 300 times into this hand. Are you ready for this? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's going to be your card. Here we go, watch. Here we go. Oh, it didn't really spin, but got your, got your card. What's your result? What? What's up? Um, it, that wasn't my card. Not the four of clubs? No. Okay, don't Sorry about that, mate. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, this is a, it's a bit embarrassing, now, isn't it? Um, okay, what, what was your card? Which Three. one was it? Which um, one? I really, um, um, um. Which one? Three of? There we go. The three of diamonds. So the thing is, it doesn't matter, because any time it goes wrong, what we do, is we just wave the three of diamonds over the four of clubs and hopefully then the three of diamonds will turn into the four. What? <laughs> but the great thing is, and this is what really freaks people out, okay, slowly one by one, take a look, turn them over, go on, have a look. Seriously, have a look. No Show them at home. <laughs> way! How did you do that? <laughs> look. That is insane! <laughs> No, but the other great thing is, I know, I know, it's a great thing. Squeeze the pieces really tight. Squeeze, but really, really tight. Now watch this, watch. Watch. Did you feel that? Um, no. Watch. Come back down and slowly open your hand. Slowly. Slowly no open way. your hand. I don't want to touch it. Slowly open your hand. Okay. Now, unfold the card. No way. <laughs> unfold it. No way! <laughs> Do that. that is insane! That is insane! That is so insane! <laughs> but, but also, do you remember at the top of the trick, when I first came in, we took a photo. Now you could have picked one of 52 playing cards. I cannot no. believe this. How did you do that? <laughs> I want to learn this trick. No, but this is the great thing. The cherry on top of the cake is Caprice. No one has touched this photo. I haven't touched it. Oh, I forgot it. about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one's touched it. Oh, okay, now what? <laughs> so I don't, I'm not going to touch it. Pick it off and have a look at the picture. Have a look. One of 52 playing cards, Caprice. How did you do that? <laughs> look at that! <gasps> can you see? That it? is crazy! So, take a close look. Make sure everybody at home can see Oh, no, that. you have to see that. See? That is, that has not come off of me. Nothing. <laughs> that is insane! Oh. Caprice, thank you so well much. Well done. Got... That is seriously impressive. You can keep those well as a done. from us. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, well done. Well, I hope you like that. I've got a feeling that Caprice did, don't you? Let's have a look now what's on next week's Tricky TV. See some extraordinary events on this ordinary looking street when I get into the skies for our wicked wind up. Get back to school!
I do a magic trick with the cheeky girls and guess where they hide their cards? Under their cheeks. How did you do that? <laughs> and in the big trick, I join the gym for a rather extreme workout. Feel the burn. Trick game. Well, that's it for Tricky TV today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you very soon for some more magical mayhem. But now, would you like to have a look at some of the tricks that went, well, wrong? Of course you do. Here they are. I'll see you soon. Bye. Try right, throw one, two, three of them away. How many do I have left? Three? No, I still have one, two, three, four, five. Because I've done the trick wrong. <laughs> We've also got ice creams. One, two. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting very bored of sitting in the mirror cop. I've got more chances of Kevin's doubling up for me. <laughs> Okay, watch. You're just going to end up with two six again. How did you know that? Because there's George inside it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, if this is... You know what? If this isn't the one, you know what I'm going to do? Give us all that! Yeah! And it's all made possible. Trek game! <laughs>